Hey guys, what's up? I'm Eric. Welcome to my channel. This is House of Eric. What's up to all my gays, girls, and guys? Yes, guys too. You will like this channel. I'm going to be doing men's fashion, men's hairstyles, um, women's fashion, women's hairstyles. Basically everything you know about beauty. It's my passion and that's what I'm here to do. So enough of all that. Today, we're going to do something that is pretty much highly searched for, highly requested, and it's a problem that I've suffered with myself, and that is dark circles. <laughs> like, who wants them? Why are they here? Like, why? Why do they have to be a part of our body? I mean, they make you look so tired. And besides treatments and um, serums and moisturizers, there could be a couple more reasons why you're getting dark circles under your eyes. Now, remember, I'm a licensed cosmetologist and uh, makeup enthusiast. I have done makeup for Morphe and a few other makeup companies. But I'm not a dermatologist. But I do know that you can get rid of your dark circles by using uh, serums or moisturizers. Now, not everybody has that budget and not everybody can afford that. So I'm here to show you how to cover up those bad bitches with concealer and a little bit of magic i'll show you guys keep on watching uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you like what you see why not hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads let's go ahead and get started so basically dark circles are hereditary so if you were basically as far back as you can remember if you were like i don't want to say born but born with dark circles and you've noticed them like through your early child, through your teens and now adults, it's basically hereditary and there's not much you can do as far as um, treatments because hereditary means it's in your genes and it's always going to be there regardless of what. But if it's not hereditary in your family, um, you can use, um, it can be caused by stress, it can be caused by not sleeping, it can be caused by oversleeping. Um, extreme fatigue, etc. So those are just some fun facts for you guys to keep in mind. Remember, it's all love here. So I'm going to show you guys how to cover up these bad boys. And my skin is medium. Uh, my, <laughs> my skin is oily combination. So I'm oily all throughout my T-zone. And I have hyperpigmentation from acne. But today we're just going to focus on these guys. So, I've already moisturized my skin. Um, first of all, I'm going to say this almost in every video. If there's, no make, if there's no skincare, there's no makeup. Period. If you don't know what that means, you should. So basically, if you're not taking care of your skin properly, as far as hydration, um, serums, if you can afford it, if it's in the budget, but at least washing it, hydration, I'll get into that in another video, then there's not going to be any proper makeup. It's going to look to say the least, not cute. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So today I'm gonna use something that is super high coverage as a concealer, but before that, I'm gonna do something that is very, very important. You guys, I totally forgot. Grab your motherfucking coffee and let's do this. If you don't have coffee, grab your favorite drink. Come on, let's do some makeup. Isn't this so cute before we start looking at this mug? It says therapist because I'm basically like a therapist through hair and makeup. You know what I mean? If you're a stylist or makeup artist, you know what I mean. Um, anyways, let's get started, guys. So before the concealer, it's very important, and I'm going to zoom in here. It's very, very important that we cover it with a color corrector, depending on how dark your circles are. So as a colorist, um, and you can Google this information, um, as a colorist, there's certain things that cancel out certain colors, uh, that works for your hair and it also works for your skin tone as well. So basically I'm going to be using, um, an orange to cancel out my dark circles. It can also be a peach. It can also be like a deeper skin. If you're deeper skin tone, you can use something red. Um, if you're light to medium, I recommend using a peach and something orange. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in the shade orange corrector and then I'm also gonna go in with the same LA girl pro conceal 
and this one's in the peach corrector. So if you guys have not used these, which I'm sure most of you have, these are life. LA girl, what's up? Your products are amazing, and honestly, I will tell you if products are shit, so you guys know if you've used this before, it's amazing. I'll have everything I use linked down below, but let's get started. I think I've said that like 800 times, but we're really going to get started right now. So, for men, um, especially uh, men who do makeup, this whole chin area and mustache area is considered like a deep blue color. So the majority of people will cancel it out like so. So I'm just going to place it right here. And a little goes, that was way too much. A little goes a long way. I'm going to have a hard time blending that out. OMG. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to be using my Shop Miss A. Um, I swear this is clean. This is like a, I don't know what kind of stain that is. This is clean. I just cleaned it with um, Shop Miss A brush cleaner I'll leave it down below so I'm just gonna go ahead and start dabbing and I am getting to the under eyes this is gonna be the exact same thing for the under eyes but I'm gonna show you something different I have to go somewhere right after this so I have to get my whole face ready or else your girl's gonna be looking a mess and that's not gonna happen okay so see that was way too much but there's something that is really, really, really important here. And while that's drying, I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to do, I'm light skin toned. So I'm going to go in with the Peach LA Girl HD Pro Corrector Concealer. And I'm going to go in with Peach right here. And that's literally all you need. I'm going to go in right here. And if you have dark circles, I do most of the time. But you tend to notice the most darkness is going to be right here in your inner uh, tear duct. And then sometimes even up right here. So don't be shy. Place it a little bit right there too. Um, depending on how um, serious your dark circles are, you can even take it right above your eyelid. Just so everything can be uniform and fully concealed and kind of meshed together, if you will. By the way, if you can guess what this scar is from, I'll totally send you something for free. Uh, comment down below, how did I get this scar? Okay, guys, so I've already put that on. Now, make sure that you go in with, um, if you're a guy and you're trying to conceal this, make sure you go in with, obviously, a different beauty sponge because this is so pigmented, it will transfer everywhere. So now I'm going to go in with the peach corrector. Remember, ladies, gentlemen, gays, if you are trying to remove your dark circles, deeper skin tones, I, I recommend using a red this is crazy. I'll show you guys next time, but you can even use a lipstick if you don't have concealer, you're on the go, you're in a hurry. But right now we're doing it this way and you're just going to literally go ahead and dab right under the eye and of course right over. And you see already, see already how that compared to this, look. That has just neutralized. I'm so glad we, uh, we used peach right here and not orange. See how that just has neutralized almost already a little bit compared to... Here, I should wipe this off. Okay, check it. So see the deepness right here in my dark circles? See how much the difference is? Color corrector, light peach. No color corrector. It's an immense difference. So that right there is going to cancel out and help you um, get maximum payoff for the concealer next. So now let me just blend this side so we can get even results. Okay, the next part is super important, ladies, gentlemen, gays. Make sure you guys are listening right now. First things first, common mistake, and trust me, I learned from trial and error, so this is legit. Always, always, always set this, and especially this. So the reason we're setting this is because once you go in with your foundation or your concealer, if this is not dry and set, you are going to be orange all over. This is very pigmented. Remember, it's a color corrector, which means the pigment amount in the formula is astronomically insane. So you're going to be orange or you're going to be peach, 
and you're going to have to start and do your makeup all over unless you want to look like that. And I'm not going to have you baddies looking like that. Like, uh-uh. So now I'm setting the area. And I'm just using any setting powder. You can use any setting powder. It doesn't matter. It can be pressed or loose. Okay. So next, let me zoom in. If you do not have a high coverage concealer, I recommend getting one. It could be a pot cream concealer or it can be um, anything like Tarte Shape Tape or a more affordable option and I think is better is the e.l.f. Camo 16 Hour Concealer. If you don't know about this, where have you been? Where have you been sleeping? This is an amazing product from e.l.f. Definitely affordable. And I'm just going to put two little kind of smudges right here in my inner. I'm going to dab it once right here. Dab it once right here. Remember, doing your eyelids is completely optional. A little bit of this goes a long way. I use it a lot. But I'm doing it as if I have, like, very, very severe, deep, um, deep, deep, bad inner dark circles. So you guys will know, ladies, gentlemen, gays, if you have very severe dark circles, you will know how much to use. So check it. Do you see how, let me look up. Do you see, like, how already? Come on. Like, come on. Are we seeing this? Are we seeing this? Let me follow through. And I'm sure you guys know this technique. If you don't, and you're a beginner, and you are... Um... I make ugly ass faces while I'm doing this. I'm sorry. You're going to have to live with it. Uh, if you're a beginner and you don't know how to blend out your concealer, I just recommend using a sponge. It'll be a lot easier than a brush. I'll show you guys different techniques in a later video, but use a sponge and look up when you're getting to your under eye and just go back and forth, light tap motions to get the most coverage and an even layout. So check it out. Ah! Okay, guys, so this is pretty much it. Obviously, I'm going to cover this. I'll be right back. Oh, shit, I'm recording. Ha! Just kidding, guys. I'm back. This is the final look. Just a soft, everyday glam. This is soft glam for me. I'm not full coverage at all, minus the eyes since we went in with that elf. And this is achievable through drugstore makeup. How to cover your dark circles with drugstore makeup. Remember, we use the LA Girl HD Pro Color Corrector in peach and orange. And we also use the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I'll link everything else on my face down below. I'll also link my TikTok and Instagram. Don't be shy. I don't bite. Follow me on those two for more everyday lifestyle stuff. But if you like what you saw... Give this video a thumbs up. If you guys have any suggestions, any comments, what you want to see next, I have a lot of exciting things planned for you guys. Read the post notification bell so you can be notified of every time I upload. And remember, you're a bad bitch. Stay sexy. On Mondays, I will be uploading my Eric's Life vlog. So please come with me on my health and beauty journey. Remember, Thursdays and Mondays... Hang on, because it's going to be a wild ride. Until next time, te quiero mucho.